good, everybody? And yo, welcome back to the beatmajors.net. So before I get into this, I just want to say, um, if you if this is your first time watching, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, after you subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, <clears throat> that way you never um, miss any tutorials ever again. Um, that'll alert you every single time we drop a, a, a video of any sort. You know what I'm saying? A new beat, um, a new tutorial, anything like that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this video right here basically is going to be short and, short and sweet, something quick and simple. I just kind of wanted to show you guys, since we're always talking about mixing and things like that and how to use certain effects, this will help um, for number one. This will help for, uh, you know, lowering your CPU usage. This will help, you know, when it comes to mixing, you'll already have these, you know, your MIDI already down in a WAV format, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, it helps for later manipulation. If you want to take that same loop from one beat and manipulate it into another beat and, you know, save it as a loop or whatever and just try, you know, try and do different tricks. So basically what you do is, you know, as you're crafting the beat, how we have here, as we already started one, um, you want to basically... Uh, you got your MIDI, as you can see, all of these are MIDI, um, MIDI files, most of them. And you, you basically, we're going to, like I said, we're just going to convert the MIDI to audio. What you want to do is you want to make sure every single sound is assigned to a mixer track. Um, all the sounds that you're using, if you're not using it, don't worry about it. But if you're using the sound, um, and there's a MIDI file and there's a MIDI, um, track for it, assign it to the mixer as we have here. And if you don't know how to assign things to the mixer or, you know, set up the mixer or anything like that, we have a video for that. I'm not going to get into that specifically, but so this is how you do it. So, um, I'm going to play the beat so you can kind of hear, um, what's going on. And I'm gonna show you one of the sounds that we have in it or how we're going to, uh, turn that into, to, to audio. So check this out. So as you see, like this right here is basically the main sound. So that's the main sound. So if if my computer, if I had a crappy computer or something like that, and I wanted to convert it to audio um, to free up the the CPU usage, because you know when you have too many VSTs, even when you have a great computer, sometimes it can certain C, uh, VSTs they're they're just CPU heavy. So this is what you would do. You would make sure that um, the track is, is, is assigned to a mixer track. You go down here and hit this red. This is called ARM Disk Recording. You hit that. You go up here to the arrow and then you hit disc recording and you render to wave. But before that, you want to make sure that your loop is set. So as you see, we just have a quick little four bar uh, loop. And right here, this is the loop of the sound basically. And like I said, you just wanna make sure that you have that section looped. Um, you loop it like that, highlight it. Um, once it's on the, the, the playlist, then you go back to your mixer. Like I said, hit that, that arm button. I'll turn this off because we're not using that. All right, so you uh, hit that hit that arm disc recording button, and then what you do from there is you go to disc recording. If you missed that, hit this arrow right in the left hand corner of the mixer, disc recording, uh, render to wave, or as you see here, you can hit Alt A L T, and then you hit the R button along with it, and that'll bring up that this option right here. Now, with this option here, it's the same as if you're exporting a beat out. It's the same thing, just uh, fewer uh, options. So with this, your mode is song selection, which we have we have it in song mode, and this is the selection that we have. With our tail, we can either cut the remainder, we can leave the remainder, we can wrap it. I usually leave the remainder, but for this sake, because it's a sound that we're just going to use um, and loop up, just cut the remainder. Um, we set it at 32-bit. Uh, I suggest just sticking with 24-bit if you're, you know, your system isn't up to par quality um h high quality for all plugins you want to make sure that your disabled max polyphony is off because what it'll do is any sounds like say if you have an 808 and you want to turn it into audio what it'll do is it'll cut off the polyphony so that basically that cut itself option that fl has or when you set your polyphony to one um it'll continuously keep going and you don't want that to happen um alias free ts404 um i don't really know what that is it's been here for years but i don't know what that's for specifically i just always left it on um as it says up here in the left in the right hand corner that it's a legacy option so after you've done all that that's pretty much how you would do it you'd hit start it renders for you and then now the file is right here and this is the file that we uh, rendered out. And after you've done that, you want to just make sure you go put that on the same track that it was assigned to before, which is number 10. Um, so, you know, we just assign it right to number 10 because that's the, 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 the channel it was assigned to in the first place. Um, so that's one way to do it. Um, like I said, you just make sure your sound is uh, on the mixer. You hit that arm button. 
and then you hit alt r or you can go up here in the left hand corner and hit this recording and go to uh render to wave files another way or another way to do it is basically same way same option just have making sure that sound is assigned to the mixer channel making sure this this button right here is on and then what you would do is you would hit record right here at the top and then what you do is you make sure that that sound is solo or not solo but just on period and then you'd go like this you just hit the play <laughs> I don't know why that other sound was in there. I don't know what that sound was for, but that's basically how you do that. Those are two easy ways to knock that out. And then again, your sound is right here um, in audio format. And then again, you just assign that to the channel that it was actually assigned to. So I hope this helped. I hope this uh, is, is, is some sort of value to someone out there. Um, again, like I said, if you're a newcomer, if you're just watching this or you're just coming up on our channel, um, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that bell right after, like I said, so you don't miss any tutorials or any uh, beat videos. And if you've already been here, if you haven't hit that bell, definitely hit that bell button. Um, so like I said, you don't miss any more tutorials. So as always, until next time, I'll holla at y'all. Peace.